I will now introduce the different carbonated reservoirs. The major petroleum reservoirs in carbonates are marine sediments. Non-marine carbonate producing environments are of little consequence for petroleum reservoirs, so we will limit further discussion to marine settings. As I have done for siliciclastic environments, I will describe the depositional environment from proximal to distal. The petroleum, found in the largest and most prolific oil fields in the world such as Gawar, occurs within the primary intergranular porosity of shelfall marine limestones. The reservoirs deposited on the uppermost marine slopes are usually composed of greenstones or packstones, due to higher energy depositional environments. The areas available for reservoir development within such carbonate dominated shelves are large in comparison to even the largest oil fields. The reservoir quality can be excellent. The uppermost slope can also be characterized by reef. They are bioconstructed by corals or other organisms and the dominant lithology is boundstone. Their size is clearly important when considering the volume of reservoir petroleum. Reefs can be fringing or isolated, then called patch reef. At the lower end of the size range, isolated pinnacle reef, defined as having a greater height than diameter, may be only a few hundred meters across and patch reef a few kilometers across. Fringing reef complexes are commonly much larger, being mainly tens of kilometers long and several kilometers wide. Reefs can provide excellent reservoirs. More distal, deep water carbonates reservoirs are not common as those in shallow marine systems. However, there are few examples for which deep water carbonates form major reservoirs. The deep water carbonates are deposited into two main depositional environments carbonated submarine fans, which are the carbonate equivalent of clastic submarine fan systems. They are formed of detritus shed from platform carbonates into deep water. Chalks. It comprises skeletal debris of the nanoplanktonic coccolithospheres, which can be highly porous, but commonly permeability is low due to the small pore throat size. The description of the depositional settings of carbonate reservoirs has been done. However, the discussion about carbonate reservoir is incomplete. Post deposition transformation can lead to the creation of reservoir where once there was carbonate tight rock. Dolomitic reservoirs are carbonated rocks composed at least of 50% of dolomite. Prospective dolomites are secondary dolomites, which means they have been generated by the replacement of calcite by dolomite during a post-deposition process. They have porosity ranges from 8 to 23% and permeability up to 2 darcies. Carstified limestone and dolomite represent the second major group of carbonate reservoir not directly linked to depositional environment. Karst is a product of mineral dissolution. It develops where carbonates are exposed to meteoric water. Karst figures are caves, collapse breccias, dissolution enhanced joints, fractures and vergs. The presence of karst does not guarantee a petroleum reservoir. The caustic surface may not survive a reburial. A reservoir can also be fractured. Open fractures contribute in a variety of ways to both the viability and performance of a reservoir. A fracture system may contain all the pore volume for the reservoir or provide permeability for a porous reservoir. Fractures, by generating connection between pores, enhance the permeability of an already permeable reservoir.